Ladies and gentlemen, we're playing some vintage cube. You know how it goes. You know, you know how we do. Oh, Tiger Nate with the resub. Thank you so much, my dude. Well, I like a Mox Pearl. I also like an Ancient Tomb and a Sneak Attack. I'm going to take a Mox Pearl, though. I did. I got Michael's. I got Moochel's sickness. It's rough, man, but it's just a cold, so I ain't too, I ain't too worried about it. Ooh, treachery? Trechichery? Uh, um, a less civilized person would take Tendrils of Agony. Or a more civilized person. I'm going to take treachery. Treachery is like second tier power. I'm okay with that. So is bribery, I think. Demonic tutor, things like that. And if we're being real, Sol Ring is 100% just first pick power. Do we just go blue white Chion? I really like blue white Chions. <laughs> Tiger Nate knows what's up, my dude. <sighs> you know when you're sick and like your face feels dry and like <clears throat> I don't know what that is or why, but like my face it just feels dry. Like it's just not fun. Whatever. I'm gonna take Celestial Colony. That's a solid land, dude. We even haven't the initial time of Frank's infection. Do we real? Oh, yeah, we do. It was literally when I took a sip of his stupid drink, dude. <coughs> it's so funny, man. I can, like, pinpoint the exact moment where I was like, well, getting sick now. Oh, shit, the COVID bug's trying to get in. God, I should... I better, I better dunk my head in bleach. Disclaimer, please don't anyone dunk your head in bleach. That was a comedic, uh, a comedic thing. It was a funny thing. It was a joke. We're having jokes. Jokes and jokes and jokes. I mean, Inferno Titan's definitely the strongest card in this pack. That's in our colors. I'm going to take Inferno Titan. Inferno Titan's great because, well, it's not... It's not like a vintage cube feeling card it definitely just wins games <laughs> I can't wait till the COVID-19 bounty hunter <clears throat> god Hollowed Fountain. Or Steam Vents, actually. Steam Vents is better with the colors we have. Let's take the Steam Vents. <clears throat> and we'll look at some Jeskai shenanigans. Thank you! Apollo Barclay, thank you so much for the resub. I may I not always be on the stream, but I'm always on the YouTube. I really appreciate it, my dude. I really appreciate it. Well, we have my favorite. I think Council of Judgment's the pick here, though. <laughs> Get out of here like some Michael B's do. Oh boy, this pack is rough. Wow, what do you got? Green and blue, green and black cards, huh? Well, see you later. I mean, it could be just recruiter in case we get like Splinter Twin, because it's clearly not any of the green or black cards. So I guess that's what we're doing. <sighs> and a green or black signet. I guess green and black is open here, huh? 
Hmm. It might have just been Signet as a way to produce a colorless mana, but that doesn't seem great. This is very strange. Yeah, but Jitte doesn't go for <clears throat> Jitte doesn't go as highly in the cube. Hold on, I'm still looking, I'm just looking for something over here. Burmaz is alright, I guess. None of these cards are exciting. This draft doesn't look like he's green and... Maybe we're banned. Do you ever think about that? If not, I'll take the Condemn. Where else can I go to get buggy, white, buggy whips? I don't, I don't know what that is. Wow, all right. Last pick, Arbor Elf? All right, I guess we're definitely trying to get on this green train. What's even happening right now? Pernicious dude, what up, my dude? What up, my pernicious dude? <clears throat> Oh, we got Nicol Bolas. Got to buy you. Uh, Counterspell. Alright, I guess we're assuming we're Bant, maybe. <laughs> green's my specialty at picking the cards that are green. Not necessarily my specialty at winning the games that are green. Could just take. We could uh, take Bloodbraid Elf, and then we have Steam Vents and Temple Garden. I think it's Counterspell. Now we have double blue, early green, early green, double white, double white, and that's just not good. Are we Abzan? <laughs> oh, God. I'm just going to go with the land for now. I have no idea what's happening in this draft, but, like, there's really no clear direction on that pack. Verdant Catacombs actually seems fantastic here. Yeah, definitely taking a Verdant Catacombs here. It can get us white, green, or black right now. <clears throat> Thran Dynamo. Opposition. I actually like Snapcaster a lot here just because if we get any sort of uh, blue power, then we get to snap it back. Cards I'm looking at Snapcaster, Opposition, Preordain, Thran Dynamo, Breeding Pool. Breeding Pool only because we can get it with Verdant Catacombs, and our mana looks like it's going to be very, very important. Thran Dynamo seems nice, but we don't have anything to really ramp into it, so I think we can forego that. I think we're looking at Breeding Pool, Snapcaster, <coughs> or Opposition. I think Opposition has the highest upside, <coughs> and we can still build around it. It's still early enough for that. Born Power Stone. Trigon Predator. Hmm. Vendillion Click, Incubation Druid. <coughs> Ideally, Breeding Pool comes back, but I'm not crossing my fingers for that. Oh, Cryptic Command? Oh, man. Oh, Biscuits. Do I just take the... Can I... Oh, God. Uh... 
There's no way, right? We don't have a single blue fixing source other than Colony. There's no way we can take Cryptic Command. Just Path of Exile. Revelark's not terrible. It's not great, though. Oh, that didn't feel good. I hated doing it. I like Acidic Slime here. I also like Oblivion Ring. I think Acidic Slime is actually just better. Plateau and Stomping Ground. Two red lands, and we're not red. Blade Splicer is two creatures, though, which I care about more than Thrag Test because we have opposition. Savannah, Sylvan Carry Out. Bitter. Oh, can we splash a, splash a Bitter Blossom here? Savannah for Burt. Hashtag Savannah for Burt. This, this, like, I don't know what's going on with this draft. So, like, guys, if we lose this one, I'm not going to even mind because this is kind of nonsense. Um, I don't feel like there's any clear directions here. <clears throat> I think Bitter Blossom is just better. Better Blossom, perhaps. Uh, I like an Elvish Mystic. Wall of Omen's also not terrible lands. They're real tempting to just take. A mirror angel is actually not bad with opposition, though. I know this has been asked, but what audio equipment do you use to stream? Audio equipment as far as what, like microphones or... I can't believe it's not Butter Blossom. Um, My mics are Shure SMB20s. Uh, It might be Concealed Courtyard, actually, but we kind of want... Chargon Predator is good. Our breeding pool did not come back, guys. Yeah, nature's claim. Sure. <clears throat> and I also use a one mic B. Why don't you... Shut up and take my money. Oh, okay. I feel like you've been holding out on chat. I met Mike B in person and didn't expect him to be 6'6". Six, six. I'm 6'5". Six, I need to be warned when people are going to be taller. Than yeah, everyone says that. Everyone's like, man, I didn't think Mike B was going to be so tall. Adam, thank you so much for the support, buddy. Really appreciate it. But yeah, it's so funny that you say that because everyone said that. And Mike actually said, he's like, yeah, Adam didn't, uh, didn't expect him to be so tall. <laughs> I was like, everyone says that. <clears throat> I'm going to take Mox Ruby. <clears throat> it's not... <clears throat> Sorry guys, it's not the power we it's not the power we want, but it's the power we deserve, I guess. Um, Marsh Flats is actually not terrible here. Have you ever thought about bailing and upgraded to SM SM Seven B? What did I say? Upgrading? What do you, Chris? What do you mean? What's going on? Do you hear that noise? <laughs> After the earthquake yesterday, I'm kind of freaked out. I'm like, what's that noise? It might be mere battle with opposition. Chris, what do you think mics I'm using? These are SM7Bs. Are you being serious? I can't tell what you're... I can never tell when you're trolling. I'm like, is he trolling right now? I have, I have, I have one for me and one for Michael B. One SM7 Michael B. <clears throat> Yes, Mike is 6'6". Six, six. Mike is humongous. Yeah, I don't know. Like, people don't believe it. And I'm like, how... Do you think Mike is just like an average size guy? Chris, are you being serious right now? Why don't you do right? Chris, I guarantee you. I guarantee you these are SM7Bs, my dude. I, I guarantee you. I can take this off if that helps you. If this makes you feel more... Uh, if if I put the other... If I put the other... Uh, what do you call those dudes? Orzov Signet. How many how many islands are we playing? Are we even are we even playing these two fantastically powerful blue cards? Are we playing this black card? Oh god. I think I just want the Orzov signet. 
Or the Tri-Builder. Tri-Builder gets us all the colors of the, of the wind. Oh, I like an Elspeth. Is it just Botanical Sanctum because our deck is terrible? Is it Lingering Souls? Keeping a 6-6 six, six large man in, in a basement upstairs. A basement upstairs? Steam verified account. <laughs> what is that? What is you just... <laughs> Chris, what are you what are you copying and pasting here? What's even happening? I want to take the fixing land because I want to play all the cards that are in my deck, but this deck looks absolutely terrible. I don't even know what's going on. It's a tweet. Oh, dude, the Doom Eternal ratings have been insane. I'm gonna take this Gideon. Oko. That is a late, that's a late Oko. Rafellos? Leovold? I mean, I'm taking the Watery Grave because we need blue and black sources. And I, I'd rather just have a land that we can search for with our Verdant Catacombs. But never, <laughs> and I, nevertheless, I like a Riftwing Cladscape. Oh, I also like Biogenic Ooze, though, as a, as a guy that makes a bunch of things to tap with opposition <sighs> alright I'll buy a Genicus here ooh Vivian Reed or Kozlek we can go Mirari's Waken to Kozlek that's pretty cool I actually kind of just like that but that's the only thing we can do that right well I guess we can pump this or you know we have two extra mana from this guy uh, Knight of the Reliquary so, oh that was my last pick so that's good um Hmm. It's either Vivian Reed or Kozilek. I think it's actually just Kozilek because coolness. I'm going to take Eternal Witness. It's a tweet! <clears throat> oh, the Lyra came back. That's that's alright. Uh, it's sad that we got Mox Ruby. Out of all the Moxes, we get the one that we have no we have no color association with. Oh, what up, Value Bear? I was prepared to drop some money on a decent mic, but not 400. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't expect you. I don't expect people to go out and, and drop SM7B levels of money on mics. Uh, I would recommend. I would recommend just the Blue Yeti. I think Blue Yeti is totally fine. Actually, Vindicate's playable. I'd probably put Vindicate over trying on. The Leovold came back. Oh God. What are odds of casting it? What are odds of this deck doing anything? Right, that's true. If you get an SM7B, you also have to get, like, um, an interface. Uh, you have to get... Um, I forgot what they're called. It's like a... It's kind of like... It's like a preamp, but... <sighs> it's not great. We don't have a way to circumvent the life loss. We got we got Oko that makes food. We can also just play Lyra. Cracking one food is like that's that's three that's three triggers. Let's take Jitte out. I mean, our deck is making tokens. Maybe Jitte is like what we need. Cut the blue seems terrible, only because our deck like. <laughs> Like, blue is what makes our deck do stuff. I don't even know if we can play the Mox Ruby, to be honest.
All right, we got one more cut to make. Bayou's Virgin Catacombs is great right now because it gets all our colors. It gets uh, Watery Grave or Temple Garden or Bayou. It's pretty sweet. I think Leovold's actually playable. <laughs> Adam, I'm totally going to tell him that. Sweet my homie. I mean, we're it's funny because we're primarily white and green but then like two of our blue cards are double blue i think we're just gonna play 41 again because that's really come on like that's just how we do right three four five six seven that seems good one black is totally fine because it gives us one two three four black sources for like two black cards plus we have sakura tri builder <clears throat> Uh, two blue, three blue, four blue, five blue, six blue. Blue's a little rough. One, two, three, four, five, six. So is white. One person per shift. That seems good. I think the fewer people per shift is probably better. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we get one more, actually. Probably another white, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, guys. This deck is trash. So we'll probably 3-0 with it. <coughs> Mono White Soul Tie, what did you miss? Apparently nothing. Uh, this hand is as good as we can get. I guess we'll get a white with this tri, tri builder. Oh, they don't do anything on turn two with four mana. So we want a second white. We also want a second blue. So I think we're just getting Temple Garden for now. And then we'll see what we draw. Well, I'm leaning towards the second white right now. <clears throat> like, we could play Oko and make this a... Fox next turn. <laughs> they're not foxes, they're elks, you dummy. Mm -mm. Also, this is lower than it should be. Okay, let's get another white. Now we're going to just draw opposition. Are you ready? We're going to draw another white. That's basically the same thing. Uh, one, blue, green, Oko, no, actually we have Mirari's Wake next turn, so. Oh, we should have made this an elk, but then like, yeah, because now they're just going to, well, they're going to, they could have heroes down, they could have killed it anyway. Oh, wow, they didn't kill it. All right, they did not play a land, so whatever they do now. Lillian, I don't actually know what's going on here. They're reanimating my Sakura Tri Builder. Well, that's something right there. Yeah, 
Yeah, I feel like they're just... Uh... Yeah, we didn't leave out Blade Path. I wasn't even thinking about it. Hmm, that's not bad. <clears throat> All right, I feel like we're in good shape. They have a three three, but I don't really care. Gonna get a blue. Another swamp. That's actually good for us because it wasn't a color they were missing. And now they had five mana previously, so they probably can't do anything now. Okay. All right. Living the dream of, uh, <clears throat> you know, infinite lands, I guess. We're just gonna wait here. When you wash your clothes, do you sort them by converted mana cost? I personally don't, but I know other people have done that before, so it's it's not an artifact anymore. Well, that's just sad. So do we care if Oko goes to two? Not yet. Kozilek. Oh boy. One, two, three, four, five spells. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten lands. Seems good. Seems very, very good. Well, now we can block with colonnade and also keep up path, so. Win, win, we win. <clears throat> uh, one, two, three, four. Bow, 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 bow. That's fine. We can waste that mana. Boo, do, 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 do. Seems good. Oko down to two. Collective brute. Mm, no, no, it's <sighs> big chups. Yep, that's fine. Again. <laughs> well, I mean. <clears throat> Oko's still holding down the fort. Dude. Frosty the red-nosed reindeer. Living inside the garbage cave. Wow, they got removal for days, my dude. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna block this choopy boy. Oka's gonna go to one. This is the most damage that Oko has taken in the world. Probably not, but it's I mean it's a lot, like right? Like this is a lot of <clears throat> And they didn't do anything. All right. Kozilek. Kozilek. Still another fucking land. <laughs> now we're at a point where this guy can't even, like, he can't even contest Oko. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is why I played. We should play 16 lands, right? If Oko was any sort of reasonable magic card, we'd be in terrible shape right now. Oh boy. Oh Jesus.
Oko with your nose so bright. Won't you guide Gristlebrand tonight? Wish that I had a treachery, but I only draw these lands or cards that make mana. Gonna counsel judgment that do 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 do. <clears throat> sure. Draw seven more. Just keep drawing. I'll vote for this guy. <laughs> then one foggy Michael B. He lived in the trees. Gonna attack for four and put you down to nine. It's gonna be doo doo boo doo doo ba doo doop boo doo doo doo. -doo. Is he singing Christmas songs? Yeah. Why? Eh, nobody knows really. I mean, you're gonna take it, so might as well make it worth my while. Grizzle Jad just went to the store to get some smokes. I mean, okay, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. We get into ravenous troops. <clears throat> that's something, man. Good for you. Good for you. Something good. Well, you know, I mean, it's funny because I have to have three different lands for this. Won't you guide my bike tonight? Gonna make this guy a 3-3. Three, three. Then I'm playing Leo Vold. That motherfucker's singing Christmas songs. This guy's black, so he should be actually pretty good against their deck. Especially now that Ravenous Chupacabra is uh, on the board. Okay, well. Shut up and take my money. Buck donated one bu one donated one Kerwit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my god. So so I got an email from UPS yesterday and said your package will be delivered tomorrow. And I was like, what package? I don't have anything coming. And so <clears throat> I'll go to shoulder it and you have a recurring nightmare. Oh, this is all. This is just I'm just having a good time. Um And so I was like, what package? I'm not like I don't expect anything. And I saw him like, Katie, did you send me anything? And she's like, no, that sounds like a Kerwit thing though. So I asked Kerwit and I'm like, Hey, did you send me anything? And he's like, that sounds like something I'd do. And then today he just sends me the tracking info. And he's like, it'll be there tomorrow. And I'm like, okay. I guess Chupacabra comes back, kills my Lee of old. Oh, buried alive. Wow. Their deck went from actual trash to having it all. That's pretty cool. Putrid and Packrat Solemn Simulant. All right. Well, and you're getting back Choops. Choop, 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 Baloop. I'll draw a card. Fudge. Okay. And Leovold dies. And Devoted Druid dies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen mana. Five. That's a lot of mana. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooze. I think we're only limited by our green here. But we do have six. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. One. <clears throat> All right. Well, four oozles. How you live?
sun in a What do they get back? Simulacrum, sure. They have eight cards in their deck. Yep. I mean, we have no responses, right? So I just have six here. Well, seven cards in their deck. Get choops, kill them by Genicus. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's worth three green shy of like. So they sack Shieldred, get Regisaur, Shack 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 Chupacabra, get Shieldred, sure. And this is a whole lot of nonsense, really. Yep. This is unreal, dude. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And then three mana dorks. I'm going to keep playing lands because eventually I'm going to draw Kozilek. Maybe. I also feel like I could have just, like, essentially won this game if, like, we had um, kept the colonnade back. Rage cut a land so you screw again. Yeah, that sounds about like what would happen. Yep. Hey, they get to kill Oko. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have 20 mana right now. Emrakul would be the sickest draw ever. But instead, it's just a Miria Angel when we played our last land. That's awesome. That's just amazing. Another land. There's Kozilek. Well, we've drawn one, two, three, two, two lands and a land. Of, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Kind of like nature's claim. I'm going to keep this hand. <clears throat> Turn one Blade Splicer seems pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah, they also have Animate Dead, Fritz. Or, uh, Smokey Loki. Oh, good. They had... <laughs> I got a great start. Ah, oh, they got a better one. That's cool, dude. Oh my fucking god, I hate this game so much. Jesus. Actual unbelievable, dude. Oh, wow. 
Yep, can't beat an active Gristlebrand. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Magic the Gathering. Yep, that's a good hand. Let's keep that. Sure. Let's get rid of Path. I was going to draw Mox Pearl. Ready? Sure. <sighs> Must be the nicest ever. Every time you save a good hand, you're plum play some wild shit. Yeah, well, that's that's magic the gathering for you. So if we play the black now, we can still add two two white next turn. But it also lets us play Leovold if we draw a land. So play Druid. <clears throat> next we can go white, white, two, and Gideon. Oh, 100% trade for your guy if you want. <sighs> Can't stand you. Can't stand you. Sylvan Library is a good one. One, two, three, four. Might just be ooze here. <laughs> Vintage Cube is a vile temptress, man. I love it to death, but like, holy shit, dude. Can you imagine how, Leovold, how good Leovold is against uh, Sylvan Library? You don't have to imagine. It's real. You know what's good for the YouTube algorithm? Dark Souls. So when are you going to let me sh Sherpa you through a Dark Souls one? Oh my god, dude. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. And it cuts off my Arbor Elf. I'll just draw by you. It's fine. It's not it's not a forest. But it'll do. It'll do, pig. It'll do. 
Do 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 do. Get in there with that ooze. The secret of the ooze. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh my god, look at all these Dark Souls players in the chat. They should make a Blightning Helix 1, right, right, red, white, black, 3 damage to target uh, player discards 2 cards, you gain 3. That seems very good. Wasn't there a card close to that, though? Am I crazy? That card sounds amazing, though. I would definitely play some Mardu if that card was real. <clears throat> oh, did they did they try to draw? Oh, well, that's good. That is that is something right there. Heroes in a half shell, turtle power, the wall of roots. Well, all right then. One, two, three, four, five. I kind of want to go one, two, three, get my eternal witness back, get my forest back, put my forest. Then I have one, two, three. I think that's actually okay. I think we can still play Gideon if we do that. Um, no, we can't. We only have three. I was thinking if we play Wall of Roots, we get the mana from the Wall of Roots too, but <clears throat> clearly I'm a dumb dumb. Yeah, that's where they just, yep, second block, sure. <laughs> lightning Skelemental, that was the card I was thinking of, yeah. And then it's blightning, Ball Blightning. Well, we did turn off their Sylvan Library, I guess. <laughs> Turtle power. They're the world's most fearsome fighting teens. Oh, I see. How nice. When evil Shredder attacks, Michael B. will just get snacks. It's Michael B. every day. It is Michael B. He... That's what we assumed you would do. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we only have one, two, three, four, five green. If we hit another green source, we can actually make two oozes a turn. But they're going to be able to make more because they have 
Nissa, who shakes the whole world. Yep. Four, five, six, seven. Boink. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh lord, he coming. <coughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I wish you didn't get this song stuck in my head. Well, this is almost my own cause like here. They got rid of three lands, but we drew two that we can replace next turn. And that's kind of like a land as well. Plus, they're giving us infinite guys. All right. I'm finally able to chat while at work. Did you like that? I didn't even see it. Jesus, <laughs> God. Oh, man. I don't know if this is Galaxy Brain necessarily. This is just the order of things that happen. Oh, man. Okay. I think I'm okay with actually what's going on here, ironically. One, two, three, four. We need a, a, a forest here. That'd be great. I guess we can get one with Tri Builder, right? No, we can't. We have no... Gr oh, yeah, we can. <clears throat> so we'll play this. Play this. Uh, one, two, three, Council's Judgment. Let's get rid of this Nissa. Your Nissa's turning this whole thing on, man. So now we have one, two, three. We have four mana, but we only have two white sources. So I actually probably should have tapped this. No, we have three. We have three mana. That's, that's okay. That's fine. Uh, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Again, we're at nine again, so that's actually fine. This game is actually not terrible, surprisingly. I mean, this guy's much more reasonable. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Six, seven, eight. They can make two guys a turn if they just wanted to, but that's fine. Preferred creature typing for my Korra. Nightmare Squirrel or Elemental Otter? I think Elemental Otter. I think I think Otters are cuter than Squirrels, but I think it's close. But also, I think uh, the fact that it's a Nightmare Otter kind of takes it down, or a Nightmare Squirrel kind of takes it down a little bit. Like, they're going real wide, but, like, it's nothing we can't handle right now, which is fine. Let's get a forest. And hope we can hit a land here. That'd be great. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Land. That's pretty good. Okay. Nope, got to do this first, actually. One, one, two, th oh, gotta do the other thing first, too. Dang it, there's so many things that are not like mana abilities. Oh my god, come on. <coughs> Call the lake. It feels so nice. Get that annihilator, boys. 
If he dies, he just gets shuffled back in, which is just fine. Man, this Leovold's great here. Who's winning? You got me, man. You got me. Oh wow, this guy's just getting in there. So Shut let's up and take my money. Oh, okay. Rubber nip rubber nipple horse. No, sir, I don't like it. <laughs> Do you have any rubber walrus protectors? Um So here's what I'm afraid of. I'm afraid of them having dismember, right? Moochel who eats the nugs. CMC 3RG plus one, make a chicken nug. Negative one, eat a chicken nug and gain two loyalty. Negative nine, ascend to chicken nug god status and subvert the world to your whims. Mostly to make more chicken nugs. I don't see the problem. <clears throat> I think the only card I'm really concerned with is dismember here. However, we can go five, five, three, three. We lose two. I don't really want to trade the eight, eight because the eight, eight is just like very good. Well, we're going to lose both of these anyway, right? So we might as well just block with three three threes, and they can only take out two. That seems better than losing our 5-5. Five, five. Right? Like, one, two, three, four, six. Yeah, they can only take out two of them. <sighs> this is where they play Recurring Nightmare to get Battle Ball back. And then we just feel bad about playing two back-to-back -back Recurring Nightmare decks. First rank content. Solid gold tonight, buddy. I aim to please, my friend. I aim to please. <clears throat> I let Magic Online shit on me. So you guys don't have to. So what we got here? Three, four, five, six. We have enough for an ooze. And a Gideon. Uh, creature control plus one plus one. No, let's make an ally. Must be knights. I'll just cast Mox Ruby too. I don't think it matters, but we're definitely attacking here with Kozilek. I mean, the four the four permanents is definitely relevant here. Sylvan Library seems like a good one. And three mirrors, sure. <clears throat> Seems fine. Shuffle that back in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, three, fifteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have six six guys can get through. Four five of them are one ones. I'm not too concerned.
Okay. Wait, if we draw a position, why would we scoop? Oh, I guess they have Rex Sage. <laughs> what are they killing them? Sure. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so they have a oh, mana crypt on top. That's fascinating. Yeah, they're drawing uh, recurring, uh, recurring nightmare and tooth and nails, and we're drawing Mox Ruby. Just, just be over here. Can you go any smaller than that? All right, cool. That's fine. Is there anything we can do at the end of the turn? I don't think so. There's that path to exile again. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We use five, so we have seven left over, which would actually be translated to not fourteen, probably thirteen. <clears throat> so let's go three, two, and one. We'll avoid using any lands for the Marari's Wake because the lands are just so much better. I think if we can actually path this guy, I think we're in good shape, but I want them to draw the Mana Crypt, obviously. We could actually path the Sage, too, because they do have Recurring Nightmare in hand. But, I mean, they have Acidic Slime in the graveyard already, so it doesn't really matter. Like, I don't care about pathing the Sage. Um, one, two... Three, four, five... One... Three, four... We could actually just attack for five here. Create a knight. No, they don't have anything to block colonnade. Um, one, two. Oh, I used this already. Yeah, so I guess we can't attack with colonnade. We're one shy. <clears throat> I don't want them to untap, but I also want them to draw mana crypt. So it's really kind of a... I mean, they could draw something just as worse, right? Just as worse, that's a... I feel like green has always been our bottleneck, but, like, what can you do? I think we have to get rid of this guy. I mean, just hope it's not worse than a Mana Crypt. I mean, I guess if they use their Mana Fruit Slimes, it's not the worst. But... Forest on top. I mean, that's better, I guess, maybe. I mean, they are going to get to play Ulamog. <laughs> well, at least one of us gets our opposition. So we basically have the same four-color deck, right? Just to be clear. I guess there's just, there's just only Sultai. Yep. Yeah, I don't think a Gideon Emblem does anything more than, like, making creatures does here. Yep, here comes Ulamog. I mean, I actually don't know if they're going to hit, but we get to draw two cards, so. I imagine it's Biogenic Ooze Mirari's Wake. <laughs> yep, that's exactly what it was. Hilarious. Oko? That's actually fantastic. 
I mean, really have to draw a position here and tap down their blue sources. Because otherwise this kills us. <clears throat> I'm going to thought seize this guy. That would be sick. Yeah, that's fine. Yep. Oh, let's draw another card. Uh, one, two, three, four. Artifact, creature, or land. So activating this doesn't do it because it doesn't say non-creature. Vindicate. I mean, that gets rid of the opposition, but it doesn't save us. Actually, no, it doesn't. Well, all right, things are happening. Things are happening. We also don't have a black source, I guess, so it doesn't do anything. Okay. We haven't drawn a single black source. That's hilarious. One, two, three. Well. One, I mean, we get to play Acidic Slime if we want, but I think we have to keep it for this. How are we blowing up two blue sources? Oh, uh, Incubation Druid can't tap for black, my dudes. <clears throat> so I, I have no access to black mana right now. You guys don't actually know what Incubation Druid does, right? It's any type of land you control could produce. Is this a May ability? Oh, it's a May ability. Wow, that's great. Okay. Um, I kind of just want Acidic Slime to kill one of these guys. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, I kind of just want to kill one of, the, one of the forests that are actually things <sighs> this is frustrating the problem is if we don't draw I guess we have to I guess it, I guess there's no way we can't draw a black source right And they have two black for recurring nightmare, so that doesn't do anything. Let's make sure we play a land this turn. No, Vindicate's not instant, but we can just do it on our turn. All right. I mean, if they start, I guess they could tap our guys down on our turn, and then that's pretty brutal. And that probably kills us. That definitely kills us. Yeah. Yeah, they're just dead. They tap our whole board down. Yep, forgot about that. Because it doesn't matter if we play this on our turn. In response, they just tap our whole board down anyway. Do we have Manamorphos? No, no, we do not. They have they have enough now. They don't have enough now, but like at the end of our turn, they just tapped on our whole board, and then they go to their turn, and we're tapped out. So they just Dalfa and kill us. But sure.
We don't have an alpha, though. They just tap down our guys. And then our guys are tapped through their turn. <clears throat> yeah once they play once they play it it's like that's the end of the line uh, I'm just going to draw until I nope yeah that's good Unfortunately, we don't have even the mana to play that anymore, so. Yep. Oh, well. Okay. Interesting. Still no black source, though. Thank you! We do have Temple Garden, which is double white. Smokey Loki, I could not have said it better myself, my dude. Yep, just gonna keep on drawing. Okay. Torrential Drench, I appreciate it, buddy. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. e is actually not bad because it also gets treachery. I don't hate that. I'm going to submit 42 cards, 16 lands. I don't even care.
Okay, I'm gonna keep this hand. If we get another white, we can cast Brimaz. Plus they have like seven minutes. I wanna kinda keep an eye on my clock. Yep, you got it. Temple Garden. I am dead inside. I am dead inside. I am dead inside. I am dead inside. Yeah, put it on the stack. Put the one ability on the stack. I don't. It's, there's only one. I don't have to choose. So. No, I didn't want to do the laugh track because it's not funny. Um, it's actually miserable and unenjoyable. And uh, there's plenty of other ways I'd rather be spending my time right now, unfortunately. Cool. O2, O2. I mean, I knew this deck wasn't great. I just figured uh, I would draw more than two lands and uh, my opponent wouldn't get to his opposition first, even though we drew like 14 extra cards that game. So, you know, I guess... Uh, what can you do? <laughs> yep. Yeah, I mean, like, the game one was fine. Like, I just figured I'd draw... I had opposition as well. I just couldn't draw it, even though I drew, like, 15 extra cards. And uh, game two is absolutely just magic being as miserable as it is. So, good times. Good times. Yep. I guess we're just playing Blade Splicer instead of Devoted Druid. So they can Toxic Deluge for three. <laughs> what? Jesus, God. The upstairs basement. Oh, God. <clears throat> All right. Okay, now we're living the dream. Can't play Leo Leovaldo. <sighs> Two Sultai decks, huh? No ponder. Okay, you got it. No ponder. Ooh, piece of candy. Uh, 
I was a turn too late, guys. I was a turn too late with my call. So, that's really, that's really a shame. I just don't even want to play anything here. Treachery is pretty good here. Unfortunately, it doesn't really do anything. None of the cards in my hand actually do anything. don't care yeah I have Jace the Mind Sculptor I'm not like super interested in dealing with that I guess not bad, all things considered. I mean, I assume they have a, an answer for this, but I guess I'm, I'm just grateful to draw one card, guys. Interesting. I guess we don't even get to draw a card, ironically. <laughs> yeah, Exterminator. Good games, man. <laughs> oh... Oh, game two, you drew the Entomb. Seems good. Seems good. Oh, we don't have double green for this, so that's fantastic. Yeah, I mean, I knew our mana base was shit and our deck was terrible, so...
And this is where they just blow up the pernicious deed and play Jace the Mind Sculptor, I bet. I tell you what, if they play Jace the Mind Sculptor, I'll concede on the spot. Oh, they just get my treachery. That's good too, I guess. <clears throat> sure. You have mana leak. Oh yeah, I've had about four four bad luck games so far out of out of four. Maybe five if you count the first game of this match as well. But I mean, like I said, what are you gonna do? Exterminator, good you too, buddy. Sure. <laughs> double white, double green, double green. Oh, yeah, that's cool. remember when we used to play cards those were the days god i remember those days feels like only yesterday yesterday i used to cast the cards every day one two three four five six yep Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Oh boy. I mean what can they eat? A Leopold, a tribe elder, or a devoted druid? That might actually be enough if we can resolve it. I'm 03 in enjoyable vintage shoe games so far. So uh, in in matches. So hopefully you guys are still gonna stick with it. And uh, thanks for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you later.